the top 10 most haunted places in france any country with a history as rich and exciting as france is bound to have some haunting remnants of its dramatic past serving as a reminder of lives and times long gone and in this instance we really do mean haunting there is plenty of reports suggesting that supernatural activity in the country is alive and well to this very day or undead and unwell if you want to get technical number one Mont Saint Michel, the ancient monastery on Mont Saint Michel, may be one of France's most recognizable landmarks today, but according to the stories, the archangel Michael had to burn a hole in Saint Orbit's skull before he was persuaded to start building it. Today, the ghost of Captain Louis D. Estoutville stands guard on the mount overlooking the site of his victory against the dastardly English in 1434. Versailles from stumbling through time into an 18th century garden party to sporting Marie Antoinette in the garden. Paranormal sightings at the Chateau de Versailles are a fairly regular occurrence. The infamous executed queen, in particular, seems to haunt the castle with her spirit most frequently seen in her royal bedchamber. 3. Chateau de Chateaubriand If you're looking for a pre-Halloween scare, head to Chateau du Chateaubriand. Legend has it that every October 16th, at the first stroke of midnight, a ghostly procession of knights and monks can be seen following the spirits of Francois de Foix. His wife Jean de Laval and her lover King Francis the first as they slowly climbed the main stairs before disappearing at the last stroke. Four. The catacombs. It doesn't get much creepier than an underground labyrinthine city of the dead home to thousands of skeletons and walls lined with old, bleached bones. Open for brave tourists to explore, the catacombs is an 18th century burial ground created for the thousands of corpses that overcrowded Paris graveyards no longer had room for. 5. Chateau de Camargue This gorgeous chateau has a brutal past, being one of the strategic locations for Hundred Years War. During the fight, the young love of the Earl of Camargue's daughter was beheaded, and legend has it that the ghost of his horse haunts the grounds, searching for his master. A touching tale, if rather creepy. 6. Chateau de Brizac One of the most haunted places in France, Chateau de Brizac is also the highest castle in the country, and easily one of the most beautiful in the Loire Valley. There's tons of spooky stories and haunted happenings that draw in tourists far and wide, from ghostly apparitions to midnight wailings. A common reoccurrence is that of the former owner's wife, Charlotte, and her lover. When the pair were caught in their lovemaking, owner Jacques pinned their souls to the castle walls with his sword. 7. Griou Les Bains a spooky mountaintop village that has had its fair share of conflict over the years. The 13th century castle on the summit is the reported hotbed for any paranormal happenings. Expect unexplained shadows, eerie voices whispering in the wind, and other haunting misbehaviors. 8. Fort the Brosiliand There are several spooky areas in this ancient forest in Brittany making it easily one of the most haunted places in France. Thought to be the forest of King Arthur. There's even an area called Val Sans Retour, the Valley of No Return. According to legend, it is here where evil sorceress Morgan Le Fay captured unfaithful youths, luring them in from a spot high above the valley. 9. 
Basilique du Bois Genou d'Omremy this church is dedicated to one of France's most famous faces Joan of Arc and is located near her hometown of Domremy She iconically fought in the English in the Hundred Years War and was burnt at the stake for her actions Visitors have claimed to have seen her ghost roaming the basilica along with the other many slightly less famous souls 10 Chateau de Puy-Martin over in Dordogne, a famous Le Dame Blanche, woman in white, haunts the rooms of this extravagant chateau. This ghostly woman is thought to be the spirit of Therese de Saint-Claire, who was tragically imprisoned at the top of the tower by her husband for 15 years after he caught her with a lover. She eventually died in the room, her body being entombed in the walls of her prison. Thank you a presentation by Rupika Maurya